we are getting 18.75 amps. Another way that an element can fail is it can partially fail. And if an element partially fails, then you may still pass the continuity test. So that's where the amperage test comes in. And I usually just go straight to the amperage test. But um, let's say we, we check this wire and we get 18.75 amps or, or anywhere close. Let's say it's maybe 18.4 or something like that. That's still close enough. So we check this one and we get, you know, somewhere in the middle 18s on amperage. And then we come over here and check this wire and we only get 16 amps. Well, that would tell us that this leg of the element has a partial failure in it and it's not able to draw its rated amperage. So that would tell us that even though this, amp or this element passes an ohms test or a continuity test, it's failing the amperage test and this element would need to be the one to be replaced. We're gonna shift our focus to the lower element. Now remember, the lower element is only gonna get power once the upper thermostat is satisfied and happy. When the upper thermostat or the upper part of the tank has reached its set temperature, it flips power down to this lower thermostat and lower element. So the upper thermostat is satisfied and happy, the upper part of the tank is at the right temperature. So now we're energizing down here. We do the exact same simple test. We take our multimeter and we take our two leads and we put them on these two screws. We have our multimeter set to, to voltage and we're checking on these two screws right here and we're looking for 240 volts. If we don't get 240 volts, let's say we only get 120 volts, that means that this element is not calling for heat. So one thing that might be happening is maybe it doesn't need the heat. So maybe the entire tank is at the right temperature and that's fine. One of the things that we can do is we can take a screwdriver and change the temperature of our thermostat and actually crank the temp up momentarily to make it call for heat. And once we turn that temperature up, now this, this lower, uh, this lower uh, element will call for heat and we can check again. When we check again, now we should be getting 240 volts. So that's great.